This is how we ride. This is how we do. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are here on a uh, Monday, and we have footage from on board of the five Kyle Larson. The ride live camera was on board with Kyle Larson. It's sort of like a GoPro thing for every single driver on the racetrack. And it's a pretty cool thing, actually, that NASCAR has going on in that aspect. But you could see Ross Chastain right in front of him to verify that this is Kyle Larson. And this is what it was like to kind of ride with him. You see the flaps coming up due to the draft. You see Chastain with the move. He gets the turn. And then, bam. Honestly, you see the debris flying around the car. Insanely. But honestly, let's let's put some volume to this. Mm. The visuals of this car on Larson looks like it took a hell of an impact, and it definitely did. And see, it hits right at that yellow pole. And after the pole, it just completely swings it around. So you can kind of get a gauge to how much it actually snapped this car around in, in Kyle Larson's vehicle. Snaps right here. So prior to hitting, if you want to see what I'm talking about, as far as snapping, you can kind of keep out an eye out on these poles is how they align with the pillars coming down from the car. And when they hit, you can kind of judge how much that car does snap by judging how many pillars it actually transfers in the impact. A normal trajectory right here probably would have put this car hitting the wall between that yellow light and that secondary pole right there, but that hit right there sent it down the track. Uh, you know, looks like five or six more poles along the wall, and then it didn't even hit the wall due to the impact. And we see here all the debris within the car and the car coming to a rest. We also see Ryan Priest's car uh, the front end of that vehicle looking very out of shape. Uh, and that was a huge impact. And we'll just play this Larson one one more time. Yeah, it, that definitely was not a soft, soft hit at all. Daniel Suarez that we're riding with right here. And you see him kind of speed up. Now, some people are saying, oh, why did he speed up? Does he hate Larson that much? He was aiming for him. I don't think that's the case. Uh, usually when cars are sliding up the track like that, you're either trying to gun it to get around them or slow down to get underneath them because you see the car coming up. It was somewhat of a late turn by Larson. I mean, obviously he has no control. Um, but, yeah, right here, if Pierce speeds up or slows down, it's almost, uh, you know, which part of the car are you going to hit because at this point it's happening. I mean, the situation is there. And, yeah, he sped up just a little bit and nailed the car. But, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. This incident did occur. And I'm glad that they have this feature on the NASCAR app. Or would it, we wouldn't even be able to see all these angles. Once again, one more ride on it with Larson. And, and I know people were like, this was the crazier ride. The Ryan Priest video is going around. But I'll tell you what. It doesn't look as hard as most people probably imagined in their minds especially in compared to the Ryan Priest hit. This is what some people are saying is a good thing. I don't necessarily know if this is a good thing. Is it really that it, it crumbled up? And, and I, I was having a discussion. Mike Knuckles said, uh, crazy as it sounds, it breaking possibly saved him. I said, the thing is, what if this was on the other side? Impelled, maybe? So that would be somewhat my concern at this point. If I was NASCAR with this next-gen vehicle, I mean, you got bars bent up in, like, if there was a driver on that side or a passenger, obviously it's a passenger side, but if there was a driver on that side, this could be a, a way, if this hit was on the other end of the car, and this is how this car breaks apart and decompresses, I would be somewhat worried about that. Now, is this car designed to crush in on that side? And on the driver's side, there's a little bit more reinforcement. Obviously, there's a, a driver's seat, there's a driver compartment in these vehicles. So maybe seeing, you know, this result on the other side of the car isn't logical. It's designed differently, uh, designed to break a little bit more on this side where there's knowingly no people there at all. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, just a little look at the Kyle Larson ride of that whole scenario. Yeah, of course it was caused by Ross Chastain. I wonder if any of the dirt people are gonna, you know, say, why did you do that? Uh, you know, at Georgetown when, uh, uh, 
Uh, Ross Chastain goes to run the late model this week. That'll be interesting. So any of y'all who are in NASCAR land and you want to see the top echelon of the dirt world go up against one of your stars, I, I don't know. At this point, it seems like this guy might be losing some fans. But Ross Chastain will be in a super dirt late model, the NFL level of possibly American Motorsports, but definitely in the dirt track racing world. That'll be this weekend on Flow Racing, a very affordable service uh, for streaming. Go ahead and check that on out. It's going to be interesting to see how he does, who who was the uh, kind of spur of the situation. And also, Kyle Larson's good enough that he's going to be racing in the High Limit Sprint Car Series. And they actually announced they got 46 cars on the entry list. So that'll be Tuesday on Flow Racing as well. So get Flow Racing, watch Kyle Larson race uh, here his, in his sprint car on Tuesday. And then this weekend, you'll be able to watch Ross Chastain race in a late model against the Lucas Oil guys. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Larson is there as well in, in the Rumley 6 car. So, bunch of interesting things going around here and and, and two NASCAR drivers involved in a, in a pretty major wreck. One of the biggest wrecks I think NASCAR seen definitely in this next gen vehicle. And, well, they're both going to be racing. Heck, Kyle Larson, two days, three days later. If you're a NASCAR guy and you ain't really watched uh, dirt too much, but you want to watch some of your guys, they're going to be in some dirt cars. Kyle Larson is going to do really well. Ross Chastain is, is getting into the NFL of dirt track racing for the first time in his life. And, and that's going to be a really hard road to uh, go down, I think, for him. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's okay, everybody's all right, but interesting angle from the number five of Kyle Larson. Be sure to like the video, share the video, comment below. Is this new car, uh, obviously it ain't too bulletproof, but maybe they got some stuff on the other side of the car that would protect that side, not, you know, caving in like that. Because if that does happen on the other side of the vehicle, Basically, you got a driver's seat that's going to do most of the protecting. More than likely, there's some extra protection on the uh, driver's side of the car. But who knows? Who knows? Comment below with what you think. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe, and we will catch you next time. This is how we ride. This is how we do. Ride must slide.